Hiya, I'm Tash and I'm a third year BA English student here at Goldsmiths and today I'm just going to give you a little taster of some of the things we get up to here in the English department and our first stop is the Richard Hoggart building where you'll have a lot of your lectures. I'm going to take us to meet Charlotte Scott who's invited us into her Shakespeare lecture this morning. What kind of approach do you take to teaching Shakespeare? What's most important is that each student finds their own way in. My job is not to impose readings or to force a kind of a particular understanding of Shakespeare, but to show the massive, extraordinary opportunities that he offers. The lecture is really important for just kind of formulating how you feel about the play, but then in the seminars, that's the point where you can say how you feel. You can challenge the lecture and then you can really start to think about the sort of dialogic nature of yeah. the plays. So we're outside the Warrington Tower now. This is where all the English department staff's offices are and we're going to go and speak to a few of them. Hello. We met when you teach me modern American fiction. Mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, I'm, I was brought to Goldsmiths to teach was yeah. African-American oh, literature. Nice. Okay. Something I love about yeah. teaching is bringing these authors to, um, to students' attention, to read the yeah. history and the sort of social and historical context around the books. At Goldsmiths we kind of read things maybe slightly differently that are out of the traditional white western canon. So it, it opens up like different areas of study. I think that's one of the things that makes it a, a subject that, that students really get excited yeah. about. You're assigned a personal tutor in your first year and you stay with them through those three years. It is nice to have that initial point of contact yeah. with someone you know on a personal level. Yeah. One of the research centres we have here at Goldsmiths is the Centre for Caribbean and Diaspora Studies run by Joan Anim Ade. We have within the centre a space of diversity and a space of diversity that has been active uh, within the college and within the community for 30 years. It's highly unusual yes. for a university to have this kind of space. So what do we do? Over time it's changed but because of my focus we do a lot on Caribbean literature but we have always worked in a very interdisciplinary way okay. because of the way in which the, the centre was set up when it was a very, very difficult time yeah. for Caribbean migrants. Obviously, being English students, you'll be spending a lot of time in the Goldsmith Library. They keep all the literature up on the second floor, but if you're really interested in old books, you must check out the special collections. You read so much about them and research articles about them on computers and on screens nowadays so to see them with original illustrations, original bindings is such a unique experience. So this is a deluxe edition of the prologue to The Wife of Bath, part of the Canterbury Tales. Look at that. Coming to Goldsmiths you are part of the University of London which means you automatically get access to Senate House Library in central London to study. The English department plays a strong focus on cultivating a creative writing practice and one of the ways they encourage this is through the Goldsmiths Prize. It's for unconventional writing, mm -hmm. exciting, innovative, um, challenging writing and people who are bold enough to actually find the form to say what they want to say. The great thing for students is it, it brings the most exciting contemporary yeah. writers to the college. We've had Howard Jacobson mm -hmm. in one of our key lectures, um, we've had Ali Smith, and there'll usually be talks on craft and we have book launches. And as a writer myself, I think fostering that community is important for your life as a student, but also going forward. So English Pen are about to have a meeting in here. We're just going to go check it out. What happens at English Pen? What's it about? So English Pen fights for freedom of speech. Okay. And so one side of it is we campaign for writers that have been exiled for what they write. And then the other side is kind of making Goldsmith students recognise the privilege that we have to yeah. be able to have a space where we can voice our own opinions. We've got a week planned where we're going to do like writing workshops, oh, translation nice. workshops, doing events with the Black Arts Collective, doing events with um, the Debate Society. We're trying to get as many sort of collaborations in this possible to get like a really nice diverse range of people. Of the committee here, three of us do anthropology and two of us do English. Oh, okay. So it's a nice way to meet other students and get involved in writing. You don't have to be part of the English yeah. department to do it. Thanks Thank so you. <laughs> Bye. To round off our tour, I'm going to take us to The Word, which is our local independently run bookshop. You can find a lot of the text that you'll study on the English courses in there. And a massive plus, there's loads of cafes in the local area, both on and off campus, so you can sit and study or just relax.